and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got Diamond Dynasty Baseball tonight. It's the Giants taking up. Here's some real power at the plate. Michael Harris. The center fielder. Michael Harris. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Castro on the move. He's got it. And there's one away. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And that one hammered Buxton. Going back to the warning track, makes the catch. And next is the designated hitter, Jason Hayward. Lifted in the air, right center field. Buxton sizes this one up, and he makes the catch. And that is that. Bottom of the first. Here's Byron Buxton. 
as the lefty gets to work. There's a strike. When you examine Bucks. career trajectory the thing that really jumps out the speed and the defense early on bunting and it's in the air Freeman hauls it in for the out and there's one down here's Royce Lewis well he gave the bunt a shot there but not able to execute yeah I think he rushed it a little bit and when guys rush it can be a pop up or can be bunted right back at a position player Strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Riley snags it for the second out. Now Correa up to hit. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Oh, what a stop. Throws from his knees. And very nicely done for the out. Back in Minnesota, stepping in the long ball threat, Hank Aaron. In the air, out towards left center. And there's one down. Here's Austin Riley. That is good. Time call. Bounce to the right side. Castro. In plenty of time to first. That's the second out. Now here is Chipper Jones. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution.
Paddock, 28 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2015. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. And that's a two-out double. He was all over that one. That Loud that contact that leads to the double. Base. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. They're waving Chipper home. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Well, only gets it done in a big spot. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Cody Funderburg. Now, and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Two outs. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. All you got to do is concentrate and execute this next pitch. Get yourself out of the jam, back into the dugout. That one the other way. Throw is high and over his head. And that extends the inning. First and second, two down. Here's the power hitting catcher, Travis Darno. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! Big dog's gotta eat. He rocketed that one out of here. It's 4-0. And now here is Michael Harris. Glide out his first time. one. This one smoked on its way out of here. They go back to back and they add a run. It's five. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. And now the DH, Jason Hayward. He's 0 for 1. Just oh, missed. The 1 0. That's a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And now the right fielder, Hank Aaron. This pitch doesn't find the zone. Swanson, the lead runner at second. Hayward at first, two out of the inning. Base knock center field. Around third. He'll score easily. It's 6 0. That's three singles in a row. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. One. Riley at the plate now as he chases after that one. First and second, two down. Here at the top of the second. Fought off foul. Two on, two outs. Liner, base hit. Coming home. He scores, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. On the mound now for the Twins, Justin Topa. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now, Chipper Jones. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. 
And that is that. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. The first baseman. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And there's a hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. The designated hitter. Ryan. First oh, pitch misses. Hey. And a swing and a miss. I got a ball, one strike. And that is cut on and missed. One ball, now one and two. two strike. Swings and misses, struck him out. Man at first, Max Kepler at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground, two ball, Alvarez. There's one, high throw to first, and he can't reach it. And it's gonna wind up out of play. Willie Castro, the next to hit, takes outside. And a swing and a miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Out towards right center field. Hank brings it in with a nice running grab. We're back to start the third, and there's a new arm on the mound, Caleb Fieldball. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Line drive, base hit. The first so, man aboard. Ball. Here comes Freddie Freeman, Freeman up to hit. Freeman. Ground ball right side could be two. Quick feed to second for one, but safe at first. It's a fielder's choice. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Over to Castro for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. Bottom half of the third, and they bring in a new pitcher, Greg Maddox. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Christian hey. Vasquez now at the plate as he swings one, through strike one. Ah. Swings and misses, and it's no nothing at two. Strike. And here it comes. Got it by him for the K. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. Swing and a miss as he was late that time.
and one. One out, base is empty. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Oh, Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Now only one out remaining. So the batting order turns over. And now Byron Buxton. Swing and a miss. All one's the count. Next pitch is downstairs. Two down, nobody on. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. One ball, two strikes. The Twins down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. Now it's the power speed combo. Michael Harris. The wind of the pitch. 
That's ripped to right down the line. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it. No, he's safe. Dansby Swanson stands in. Bro, save! That's a stolen base. You got to be careful with a guy like this at the plate. Stealing second may eliminate him from getting really good pitches to hit. Now they can work around him with first base open. So, got to roll the dice here and hope that uh, he gets something to hit. And the pitch. On the ground, out to short. Witt over to first. One out in the top of the first. So now the DH spot, Jason Hayward. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well done. Drives in the run. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Austin Riley. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, one's the count. Singer picks to first, and he's back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Swings through that. This guy at the dish excels in two-strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. With They take the force out, and that is the third out of the inning. Back here in Kansas City, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Dyrone Blanco. And the pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. The 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one out now. Here's Garrett Hampson. Trying to punt his way on. And he picks it up in foul territory. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. and misses struck him out couldn't catch up to the heater now here's Bobby Witt Jr. that pitch gets the corner and it's 0-1 There's the swing and a miss. Looks really oh, sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. Three. Got him. Strikes out the... So the Royals bring on a new arm, James MacArthur. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. So digging in, Ignacio Alvarez. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Double play ball to second. Good feed. That's one. And that's two. 
Back here at Kauffman Stadium, bottom of the second. And now the catcher comes up to him. Salvador Perez. That misses, and that's ball one. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Swing and a miss, strike one. one, and one. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Now two balls and a strike. Way out front for strike two. Kicks and deals. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And now the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Pitch nope, misses, and it's one and one. Ah. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Righty delivers. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Holding on to a one run lead, bottom half of inning number two. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. First pitch swinging. DeYoung in his seventh season, 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2015. Just off the inside edge. Swing and a miss. Yeah, the count one and two. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two out spaces empty. Slides, but he can't come up with it. And that puts the tying run on base. Everything came together for him. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Next to hit, Michael Massey. And that one fouled off. DeYoung leads off first with two down to the inning. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. One ball, two strikes, count. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. We're back to start the third, and there's a new arm on the mound, Carlos Hernandez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. So the lineup flips over, and now the center fielder, Michael Harris, singled and scored his first time. On the ground, a short could be two. To second, that's one. How about that double play? And now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Definitely one of the bigger ones in this game. So that double play is going to be one we look back on when this thing is over. Big time execution, both on the mound and in the field to get two right there. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Wouldn't chase that time. 
and a swing and a miss down on and welcome back to the ballpark set for the bottom of the third here's the left fielder Tommy Pham Craig Kimbrell gets handed the rock out of the pen. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Outside low, ball one. Just missed. One on one on the gun, swing and a miss. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. Looking to get the tying run on base. Hit in the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. And yeah, that's outside. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. Right-hander kicks, deals. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Dyrone Blanco. Struck out swinging his first time. Fam on the move. Pitch is high. Tag. Ow! Darno, great throw. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Lift it to left, and this should do it. And that'll do it. So much rides on each and every at bat in these three inning games. It's like the playoffs. Sometimes all it takes is one big swing and some. Okay, all set to go. Here's some real power at the plate. Michael Harris. Swung on, belted. 
And it's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And that's a leadoff double. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. He's in there. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. The pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Around third. He'll score. It's 2 nothing. A couple of singles back to back. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, He's out. three. Oh. And they turn the double play. Here's Austin Riley. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Now that's back to right center. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Back here in Cleveland. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Hank sizing this one up. Drops into the glove. One away. Here's Lane Thomas. Saker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. This one in the air. And Ramirez is set down. Two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, David Fry. That's outside. One and oh. Thomas, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Late with the swing there. One ball, two strikes. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself. What a play, inning over. Welcome back, and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the second. James Karen check. And now Chipper Jones. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Here's the second baseman, Ignacio Alvarez. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. And they boost their lead. It's 3-0. One out, base is empty. Here's a big power threat. Freddie Freeman. Swing and a high drive. That one way back there. On its way. Gone. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Nick Sandlin into the game. He's into the game with the base is empty. That one ripped. And that gets down into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Banks off the wall. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's 5-0. Four hits in a row, the and they're really seven. swinging it here. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And 
And that one is lifted in the air. Thomas drifts towards it and makes the grab. Rounder tags it second, and the throws offline, safe at third. So up next, Jason Hayward singled and drove in a run his first time through. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. All one's the count. Now fly ball to right center. Pulls it in on the run. And that'll do. Here in Cleveland, bottom of the inning. And now it's Josh Naylor, the right-hander back to work. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Naylor, 26 years old, and he was born in Canada. Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Caught him looking for the K. Here's Andres Jimenez. And a swing and a miss. 0-1. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. 0-2 is the count. Got him swinging. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Brian Riccio. First pitch, just misses. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So they turn things over to the righty, Trevor Steffen. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hater deals. Well struck left field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. And first offering is fouled off. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Brennan should have this one. And it's caught for the out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now at the plate, Chipper Jones. Outside low. And that is ball one. one. And oh. And a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Didn't get cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. Came off the bat at 111, and when that's the case, the odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. Base hit. And now a wide throw to third. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. There's a swing and a drive. Could be extra bases. One run is in. Around third. Now a relay to the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's seven to nothing. Man at second here with two away. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Late on that fastball. Oh, one's the count. Freeman stands at second with two gone. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Coming home, he will score, and it's an eight-run lead. 
Comes through with the up. Tim Heron on the pitch out of the pen here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Harris in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him. Here's the center fielder, Will Brennan. Bottom half of the third, and they bring in a new pitcher, Aaron Bummer. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Bummer deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And he'll two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Here comes a pitch. And down on strikes. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Swings through that one for strike one. All one's the count. and misses it's a strikeout last out for the Guardians in this one so in now for Cleveland Stephen Kwan check swing got? tried to hold up now it appeal to third he did not go around lefty continues to work but the closer getting loose in the bullpen comes up empty that's strike two one ball two strikes and a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. Eight nothing is how this.
from Minute Maid. Now it's the power speed Media combo. Michael Harris. The center fielder. Michael. The wide to kick the pitch. Harris. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Dansby Swanson stands in. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Run around the move. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. You got to be careful with a guy like this at the plate. Stealing second may eliminate him from getting really good pitches to hit. Now they can work around him with first base open. So got to roll the dice here and hope that uh, he gets something to hit. Go ahead run at second and we're just getting started here in the top of the first up the middle Altuve whips it to first on the run and Swanson is set down good late life on that inside fastball ran in on the hands and got that weak contact little slow grounder to get the out and next is the designated hitter Jason Hayward yeah. swing and a miss. Oh, one. Oh, one. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think one, about. One. That misses the zone, and yeah, the count even one and one. And That's another ball. ball. Two balls, one strike. Line drive. This looks like extra bases, and they strike first as they take a one nothing lead. Hey. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Well, that's a big swing of the bat. Driving in the run with the two bagger. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Late swing fouled off. Hayward over at second, one down. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And they add a couple more. It's 3-0. Here's Austin Riley. On the ground to third. Bregman to first. And there's two down. Two out, space is empty. Chipper Jones digs in now. And he grounds one to the right side. Altuve tosses to first. And they get the out on Jones. That's the third out. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. A wind in the pitch. And that That's one's a little bit low. Ball one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown Three. inning. Don't give that other team any one hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. On the ground. Oh, wow. nice play. Over to first. And they get the out. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Okay. Altuve. That one is absolutely belted. Riley ranges back. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Here's Jordan Alvarez. In there at the knees, and it's 0-1. Oh and one. Two out spaces empty. Started to swing, held up. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flatten it out just because he's tired. One, two. He's still delivering good action. Ground ball, left side. Fair ball. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two-bagger. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Now, that ends the frame. 
Welcome back, and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the second. Hector Neris. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Myers on his way over, calls it in, and there's one away. Woo, he was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Neris, a 6'2 righty, 225 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. This one in the air. Diaz under it. Makes the grab, two down. Two outs, space is empty. At the play, Travis Darno. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. One out. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Tucker squeezes it, and that is that. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Yaner Diaz. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. We talk so much about how starting pitchers prepare for their starts. I talked with Max Freed, and one of the things he told me, back in 19, he and Lucas Giolito started using MLB The Show to go over scouting reports. on it and misses that's a strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater here's Alex Bregman just oh, off the it. inside edge Max said he's not sure who actually started at first but it was 2019 and he and Giolito who were teammates together in high school in Los Angeles they had the idea to become more familiar with the opposing lineup using MLB the show so a foul ball makes it one and two Struck him out swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. So two down now, and here is Jake Myers. And a good eye there. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. And that one fouled off. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. The Astros turn to a new arm of the mound. Kendall Graveman. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And here it comes. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. And the leadoff man aboard. All over that one right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Swing and a foul straight back. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. And at first, Hank Aaron getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. Wouldn't chase that time. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. And he chases a high fastball there. This one is a batter who strike. loves to produce late in ball games. He doesn't shy away from the big moment. 
Swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Graveman keeping an eye on him. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Here's the left fielder, Austin Riley. Grounded out his first time. One ball, no Pitch strike. out, but no action. Two outs. Absolutely crushed. And that one is going to land by a van down by the river. He'll touch them all. It's five zip. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Right-handed reliever. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out of first, and that'll do it for the end. Vic Caratini at the plate. A switch hitter batting right. Free back to work. Clips the corner. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The punch out there looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Here's Mauricio Dubon. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the last half of the third. Misses and a count one and two. One and two. That one missed. Two, two. Got it by him for the K. Astros down to Not their so last down. out. Yeah, Jeremy man. Pena up next for the Astros. Yeah. That so one misses down. in the Ball. dirt. All Strike right. one. Two down, nobody on. They're yeah. down to their final strike. The Strohs down to their final strike. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One and two here. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd.
Stepping in, the long ball threat, Michael Harris. The pitch. Rip to right, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Dansby Swanson stands in. Here's the pitch, runner on the goal. Ball outside. 
Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Stepping in, Jason Hayward. And that one fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Throws the first in time, and now two gone. Now it's the right fielder, Hank Aaron. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Fires to first on the run. On target. He got it. Here's Victor Robles. The lefty fires. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Oh, 0-1. Oh, Kicks and fires. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Ryan Bliss will hit next. A little bit oh. high. And that's ball one. Just oh, missed. Down. One out, base is empty. And yeah, there's a the ball. 3 1. And that's ball, ball four. four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. No throw, he's in there safely. That's yeah. in there. And that's strike two. And that oh. just misses. One and two. Man, it's second. Hey, Swing three. and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. 1 0. Squirts away a little bit, but no advance. That's ball one. A strike. One ball, one strike. Just ball missed. Outside. Man on second, two down. Good That's eye in that spot. Ball. Fought off foul. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. He's under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back in Seattle, leading off, Austin Riley. The left fielder, Austin. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm, delivers. Swing and a ball lifted left field. One up, one down. Almost a loud start to the That's inning good. on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Fly ball to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that quickly, two away. So digging in, Ignacio Alvarez. A little up front there as he swings through it. Alvarez goes strike. five feet, 11 inches, only 20 years old. And he was a fifth-round pick in 2022. 
Really sizes this one up, brings it in. And that is that. Back at T-Mobile Park, bottom half of inning number two. Now it's Justin Turner. And the first well, pitch misses like. for ball one. Out to short, Swanson. Sends it across to first. Turner is out. Now the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. The 0-1. Yeah. Wait on that fastball. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Luis Severino comes on now. That one at the knees for a strike. No score here in the second. Way out front for strike two. Oh and two. Just no, that missed. That's the ball. One two. Chases that one out. Austin Volk on to pitch here. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Swing and a miss. 0-1. I think he was a little excited there. Saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Strike two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. And the righty deals. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now it's Travis Darno with the plate. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A gigantic blast. And that's how they take the lead. It's 2-0. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. This to third, oh. and that's just foul. And he deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And the pitch. Absolutely crushed, and that one is going to land by a van down by the river. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Trent Thornton. Base is empty, one away. Jason Hayward, the next to hit, grounded out to short in his first trip. Still only one out here in the inning. To the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No play. That's an infield single. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Hank Aaron. Swings through that. 0-1.
One and one. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. At the runner, belt and runner. fires. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here's Austin Riley. Fly to left his first time. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And he swings through that one. Oh, well, that's that slow right through. there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Right. Swings and misses. They limit. The and welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the second baseman, J.P. Crawford. Fastball for a strike. Go and one. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Two strike. Severino gets a piece and stays alive. And no, one and two. Means, really good take, especially with two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And now just two outs away. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Just that missed. missed. That's the ball. Base is empty one, one ball, away one here in the last half of the third. And a foul ball. Severino kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. Just no. off oh. the outside part of the plate. Hey. Swing hey. and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. So it's their last chance in this one. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. Right. right through there for a strike. They're down to their final strike. Two okay. outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. This is just a nice win. Three-nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you score.
All right, ready to go here. Here's some real power at the plate. Michael Harris. Outside. And this one is off and running. And a swing and a miss. I got a ball, one strike. Into center. Carter on the move. And a quick out number one. Dansby Swanson stands in. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. So one out, nobody on. And the batter now, Jason Hayward. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Hank Aaron now yeah. at the plate. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Pitchers always face a dilemma trying to figure out how to attack this guy. He went with the breaking ball right there. But it feels like that approach might be playing with fire. He loves to go after pitches with the wrinkle in it. Two out spaces empty. And that one in the air center field. Carter has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that. Here's the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. The pitch. And that one is in for a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Severino. Bounce to the right. One gone, He's bottom down. half of the first. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Smith. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. The bit behind with that oh, swing. Man. It's strike one. There's the swing and a miss. One out, base is empty. No ball, two strikes. And that's a little bit high. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Left hand batter waits. Back foot slider struck him out. Now it's Corey Seeger. And a swing and a miss there. All ones that count. Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Severino kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Back at Globe Life Field, and now it's going to be Austin Riley. Time asked for at the plate, and he gets it. Riley goes six feet, three inches, 240 pounds, usually a third baseman today starting in left. Max Scherzer back to work. Liner caught it second. Here's the third baseman, Chipper Jones. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I could watch base hits like that. Cole Wynn gets the ball now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now, Ignacio Alvarez down the line, and that's a foul ball. Yo one. Runner on the go again. They pitch out. Bro, and they got him. Strike two. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Righty delivers. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Heim down to first. Got him. 
inning over on the strikeout. Back in Arlington. Now it's going to be Josh Young. Severino back to work. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Oh and one. Swings through that one out in front that no time. The pitch. That one down the line. Sneaks through base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Hit on the ground might be two. Swanson, one at second, and two. In time to first for the double play. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. There's a strike. On the ground to third, Jones. And that will end the inning. Andrew Chafin enters the game. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. As the lefty gets to work, Freddie Freeman now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. That one the other way. And base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed him. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Makes the grab run away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. On the ground, Simeon. Now the throw to first on the run. Awesome play there. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Dansby Swanson. He's already homered here in this one. Foul ball there. Hit hard, base hit. Here comes Freddie around third. He'll score easily, and they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up in RBI. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it, right? Runner takes off. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Oh, no waiting around right there. He, Jose Urania gets the call from the pen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Runner on the goal. And a foul ball. Right-hander kicks deals. Runner goes again. Bounced out to short. Boots it. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's three zip. So two down. Here's Austin Riley. He's over one. And there's a hit. Around third. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. That could be a really tough pitch to handle. A front door breaking ball. But he did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. He didn't spin off the ball and hook it foul, which happens so many times. Come on and missed 96 of that fastball. I'll tell you what. He's embarrassed right now. Never swings at that kind of pitch, especially that early in the count. Two on, two outs. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball.
And a right-hander deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Gathers and throws to first. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the catcher for the Rangers. Jonah Heim. And the right-hander back to work. That one fouled off. And there's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses there. One and two to count. Foul tip into the mid, struck him out. And now Adolis Garcia. Yeah. Got it started a little too early, oh, strike one. one. That one to first. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Last chance now for the Rangers. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. They're down to their final strike. No ball, two strike. The Rangers down to their final strike. Good eye right there. It's a good take. The wind of the pitch. Got him. And that'll do it. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire...
Thank mm -hmm. you. 